lot of people don't realize that we're on the precipice of an intellectual war where knowledge and wisdom is our ammunition, truth and understanding is our strategy, and peace and liberty is our goal. We used to say the Pledge of Allegiance, it said liberty and justice for all, but ever since the departure of Clinton, I've been witnessing my country's downfall. I don't really know where we're going, and this election's too close to call. But if you ask me about how I'm voting, I gotta stand up for Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Ron Paul. It's time to stand up for Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Ron Paul. Come on and stand up for Ron Paul. It all started in the Monica Lewinsky days. New Gingrich is screaming impeachment, but he's doing the same thing. Cheating on his second wife with his third wife. Claiming to be a man of God, but can't even live a moral life. Now that's a Way too prevalent in D.C. He ain't even fit to be the VP. Think you better switch your vote to RP. Yep, that's Ron Paul, champion of the Constitution. America's one solution to rid the White House of pollution. We've been on the wrong path for way too long. Thought we recovered from the Bush era when Obama came along. I know I voted on him too, but I admit I was wrong. But now it's time to move on and get this country back strong. But first things first, we gotta balance the budget. We 16 trillion in debt and that number's only growing. We spending more than we making and fighting wars we can't afford for. And aid to other countries, time to cut that umbilical cord. We used to say the Pledge of Allegiance, it said liberty and justice for all. But ever since the departure of Clinton, I've been witnessing my country's downfall. I don't really know where we're going, and this election's too close to call. But if you ask me about how I'm voting, I gotta stand up for all. Attention, Ron Paul. folks, the Lane Street media is at it again. Look out for Hannity, O'Reilly, and CNN. They wanna tell you that a vote for Ron Paul don't count. They wanna choke out his message with a media blackout. Oh, no, hell no, we can't let that happen. That's why we're all over the internet. I'm up here rapping supporters down at the Capitol, holding signs of town lake, spreading the message of liberty for America's sake. But it's your choice. So pick heaven or hell, pick good or evil, pick right or wrong. Pick weak or strong, pick yin or yang, pick Thomas Jefferson or Saddam Hussein. The choice is obvious to me, but it's up to you to decide. Don't base it on the media's lopsided view they provide. They spreading lies, misinformation, and deception paid for by private groups that want to rig the elections. Wake up! We used to say the Pledge of Allegiance. It said liberty and justice for all. But ever since the departure of Clinton, I've been witnessing my country's downfall. I don't really know where we're going, and this election's too close to call. But if you ask me about how I'm voting, I gotta stand up for Ron Paul. Barack Obama, I thought it was time for a change. Barack Obama, your plan is looking kind of strange. Barack Obama, I know who you are, but charisma can only get you so far. This country needs a leader, not another crooked politician. Ron Paul got the balls to stand up to the opposition. That's the establishment. Challenge the status quo. Barack, you got to suck your streak without a paddle, bro. your eyes and your mind and think for yourself. You can't continue wars and expect economic health. You can't have forward work ethic and expect to attain wealth. You can't change the world if you can't change yourself. It's time to take back your righteous minds. Give liberty a chance for the sake of mankind. But enough of me, I'ma let the good doctor speak and let the choice be yours. Godspeed. What if our foreign policy of the past century is deeply flawed and has not served our national security interests? What if we wake up one day and realize that the terrorist threat is a predictable consequence of our meddling in the affairs of others and has nothing to do with us being free and prosperous. What if the American people learn the truth? We used to say the Pledge of Allegiance It said liberty and justice for all But ever since the departure of Clinton I've been witnessing my country's downfall I don't really know where we're going And this election's too close to call but if you ask me about how I'm voting, I gotta stand up for Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. It's time to stand up for Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. Come on and stand up for Ron Paul. What if someday it dawns on us that losing over 5,000 American military personnel in the Middle East since 9-11 is not a fair trade-off for the loss of nearly 3,000 American citizens 
What if the American people woke up and understood that the official reasons for going to war are almost always based on lies and promoted by war propaganda in order to serve special interests? What if the American people learned the truth?